It's going to be taking place here at the ICC in Durban. It's a three-day event full of activities through tourism. We're going to have uh, the media. We're going to have tour guides. We're going to have people coming from other countries in Africa. We're speaking Lesotho, Swaziland, you name it. Our president will be officially opening this year's event. Now, follow me as we take you through inside to show you what will be happening inside. Here with me, I am with one of the ladies from uh, uh, the land of the rising sun. Her name is Cindy Macheta. How are you, my sister? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? Great stuff. Now, tell me, uh, how has been your experience here at the Indaba 2017? Our experience here, it has been great, especially as the first time exhibitors. It was my first time being here, and it has been great. All right, now tell me, uh, what business are you involved in? We run a five-star establishment in Nelsbridge. Yes, we have a five-star Louis called guest house, and we also have Frank Collin Lodge. And on our property, we also have one of the best restaurants in Nelsbridge, the Orange Restaurant. All right, no, that's great. I know the Orange Restaurant. I normally go there. <laughs> now, the first day when we hear uh, our president uh, opened uh, the Indaba 2017, and there's one significant thing that he said. He said, go make business and seal deals. This is the last day of the event. How many deals have you sealed? <laughs> well, the deals are still in process. But what I can say, we've made, um, we've met lots of people global people and with potential business coming up so we will be selling deals soon my tv people with me here i am with in bogoto um, on my way to nomsa mazibu i'm talking about uh, in bogoto in business now listen to this just to mention a few accolades that she has achieved in her years she has been uh, nominated or she has won the best uh, woman a Best Business Woman of the Year Award from Emma Lathaini. She has uh, won a Job Creation Award from the Department of Labor. Uh, she has won the Entrepreneur of the Year Award from Tsukhosan. And she has won the Best Bread and Breakfast Lilizela Awards, Provincial and National, from Mpumalang. I must say, Mama, you are flying the flag of Mpumalanga high. How are you? I'm finding myself. Good to have this opportunity. How do you do it? Uh, we do it together. I'm not alone. I have a team that works behind me and we are focusing on professionalism and ensuring that our clients get value for their money. People who are watching this, they are very interested yes. in being a woman in business. When did you start your business and how long have you been in, in the business? The guest house was established in 2007. And actually this year we are celebrating 10 years in business and we have grown to a tremendous number of rooms as we have started with only 8 rooms in 2007 and today we have over 50, 60, 70 rooms. Wow, you started with, you started with 8, now yes. you have 50. 10 times over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's possible only if you believe. Yes. What will be your advice? to the people who are living in the province and not seeing the opportunity to say we're in the rich province? You know, I'm one of those people who thought that uh, the Mpumalanga government or people who come to Mpumalanga are only coming because of uh, Kruger National Park. But I'm telling you, since I've visited Russia, I've realized that, you know what, any small town or any small area, they have so much riches that can attract tourists to their area two young black people who are in the tourism industry. How are you guys? We're doing well. We're doing well. Thank you so much. We're good today. Excited to be here. Hey? It's our first time. So The experience at Indaba 2017, how has it been like? It's, it's been amazing for, for the mere fact that not a lot of people get to come here and a lot of big companies that you see out here and, and the companies that are interested in your product and you think you're just a small business but then you see how many big businesses are actually interested you think maybe we are we are worth looking at <laughs> maybe we are <laughs> Namuntu, you're the operations manager of the company or the guest house what does an operations manager do there? <laughs> we make the beds, we make the food, you know, we make sure that our guests are happy. If there's something they need, we must cater to their needs. So how did they get hold of you guys? 
Um, there's different platforms you can hold of us. You can go to our website, www.stianbok.co.za. You can go to our Facebook page, Stianbok Guest House. On Facebook, it's very live. It's happening there. You must just you must visit us there. Or you can contact contact us using phone or WhatsApp um, on 082-475-3552. We are at uh, Mpumalanga village at the ICC uh, Deben at Indaba 2017. With me here, I'm with Mr. Nkosi for Nkosi Tours. Tell me, three days in Deben, ICC, Indaba 2017, how has it been like for you? Uh, for the past three days, it has been keeping me very busy, uh, trying to get my company on, on the map. Yeah. In terms of business, uh, you're coming right. I can't even believe that uh, is this my company that is actually well uh, worldwide now. I had uh, business meetings with uh, overseas people, so I can claim that people they flew from overseas to just see Inkosi tours and transfers uh, right in Pumalanga. Yeah. How old is Inkosi tours? Uh, in Kosi Tours and Transfer, it has been in operation for the past three years, uh, heading to four now. Yeah, yeah. And where, where are you operating? We are operating uh, for down south of the Kruger National Park. Uh, our offices are based in White River. Yeah. Okay, for bookings? How can they get hold of you? Okay, our website is www.inkositoursandtransfers.co.za. Our office number is 013-759-99003. Here with uh, me, I am with a lovely lady. Her name is Blanche. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And you? I'm great. Tell me about your business. Uh, what is it called and where are you guys located? So it's called Watercliff Guest House and we're based in Watercliff, Pretoria. It's a family owned business. My mom and my dad started it and we specialize in corporate accommodation um, with a touch of luxury. Okay, now great stuff. Now one thing I just wanted to ask you, uh, you say it's a family business. How difficult it is or how easy is it to run a family business? Because now it's from generation to generation. Your parents started it and probably going to take over. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. It's been handed to me by my mom and my dad. And, um, you know, it's challenging, like any anyone who owns their own business will know, um, blood, sweat and tears. But it's also a great privilege, especially if you have great staff like what we have. Yeah. Now, you know, people are there they're thinking, I want to start a business. I want to start a guest house and probably grow it and, you know, take it to the next generation. What are the highlights or the highs and the lows that you've experienced in the business? I think um, the highlights would be things like this, getting opportunities and platforms that we never thought we would. We had an interview this morning um, on a radio station and everyone at the guest house was standing in the kitchen cheering us on. And, and those are the highs, is um, you know seeing our general manager here who's he never had the opportunity to travel for work and here he is at the end of by this year. So those are the highs. I think the lows um, would be disappointing your clients and, and the moments where you have to be really honest with yourself and ask yourself, is what we have enough and then taking the criticism and the information that you have and and working hard to to get to a point where you can be proud of the product that you're selling no definitely what will be your advice uh, in terms of uh, tourism more especially I've, I've realized that in south africa uh, most of us we don't really tour a lot you know you we only receive tourists coming into south africa but we as south africans we don't actually explore what would you be your, your advice based on the experience that you've seen here in daba well, my first advice would be see your own country. Um, when I was 21, I wanted to travel to England and my dad actually said no and he bought me a ticket to Cape Town. And I was very upset about that because I wanted to go overseas and he said to me, how can you appreciate another country if you don't even know what you have in your own? So my advice to all South Africans is uh, travel your own country. We have the most beautiful mountains, the most beautiful beaches um, and most of the places you can find in the world we have right here. So local is lacquer, I yeah. think. Yeah, local is lacquer. Now tell me, how do they get a uh, hold of you guys? So we have a website, it's www.watercliffguesthouse.com and we also have a Facebook page, Watercliff Guest House and we'd love it if you stop over and come and have a cup of tea and a slice of cake, it'll be good. <laughs> Definitely, there you, ha there you have it guys, Blanche said you need to travel your country first, so we're talking domestic tourism, isn't it? Definitely. Exactly. Definitely. Alright, thanks for giving us your time and uh, spending time with us today. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to be with you. Okay, great stuff, thank you. My TV people, then we come to the end of another 
Extravagance, the biggest tourism event in Africa. I must say, for us, my TV from Pumalanga, our beautiful province, it has been a blast. What a great experience. We're definitely coming back next year to capture it and deliver to you. You know, Mosia Trapa, Unleash Creativity. Hola.